Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. I think it's about time we made a video, isn't it? Although I think I better clean this desk up first. Yeah, and um, just look at the state of this place. I think I need to do something about this. There we go, that's a lot better. I haven't really had much desire or time to make YouTube videos just lately. So you can see I'm not dead, I'm still here. So anyway, the subject of this video is going to be this little... Now the lights have finally come on. This little Class D amplifier, it's a PAM something or other, I don't actually know. I use this lens here of a pair of binoculars. Let's see what it is. PAM8403. So I'm going to wire this up. And um, I'm going to connect it to my two main speakers out here, which are out. I'll see how it goes. I know John Audio Tech has one of these, but um, mine seems to have an extra pin. There's one here somewhere marked SW. I oh, hope if I was holding it in the camera. Which obviously means switch. I think that's either connected to the muting pin or the shutdown pin. I don't know which. It's very hard to follow up the traces on the circuit board. So I'm going to try tying that high and tying that low and seeing if you know, if the amplifier doesn't do anything. And this thing is um, 5 volts, so I could power this off a phone charger. So with all that rabble out of the way, um, yeah, let's wire this up and see if it does anything. Well, here we are. All wired up. I'm ready to power up. So I'm going to connect this to some speakers, a 5 volt power supply, and a source, and we'll see what this does. Alright, well, here we are, all wired up and ready to go. You have to excuse the extremely bad wiring, but is this really just a little fun project thingy? And there's a little amplifier there, all wired up and ready to go. For our music source, we're going to use my Vestafire cassette deck, which is a little worse for wear. Um, it needs a little bit of a service. The motor's not working very well, but should be good enough for this demonstration. And to power our amplifier, here's a USB cable, which I'm going to plug into a charger. So, um, let's get set up and see if this works. Okay, I know you can't really see much at the moment, but I just have to put the camera somewhere where it's not in my way. So, a charger here, ready to power up the little PAM amplifier chip I'll make sure those wires don't short out to each other and I'll plug this in I'll see if it does, well it's not going to do anything at the moment because one of the wires has just decided that it's going to come off the thing so that's, that's, that's really good isn't it we'll reattach that wire and we'll try you touch that. I don't know where that came from. I hate my voice. I want to stay a kid. I don't want to be an adult. I want to be a kid. And I cannot get this to go in. I'll try it this way around. Oh, well, I heard a little click out the speakers, so something happened. I just played the tape, I've got UB40 in here, it's not one of the things I like, but it's the first tape I came to, is anything coming out the speakers, any hiss or anything? Nothing at the moment. And no sound, apparently. Oh, there we go. Well, that appears to be working. Even though I... Ah, oh, now that's interesting. I pick up this wire, and the sound stopped. Let's 
I'll just turn this up just a little more. I hope I don't get the copyright for this. Of course, because I want to do a little experiment with that wire, the music decided to fade out. Also, this would sound a lot better if I didn't have the DBX in. That's so sensitive, I don't even have to touch the actual conductor of the wire to trigger the muting. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clip this wire off because obviously I'm not going to use it. There we go. Hopefully it should still be going. I'd say, all in all, that's a successful little build. And you know what? This is a first. This Amplifier's pointing the camera at it. I've only got one bar of battery left, so I better wrap this up. But this is about one of the first times I've actually built something, and it's worked first time. Anyway, that's it for this quick little video. So, yeah. Until next time, goodbye. Okay, I'm not going to leave it just there. Because I want to do a little measurement on the amplifier's output. I don't mean measuring the power, I'm just curious about the, um, like the switching frequency and things like that, so... I've got my oscilloscope's ground connected to the circuit ground. And I spliced the, um, left positive so I can put my scope probe there. Let's just do that now. I can see something out of the corner of my eye every time I connect this up to the scope. So I know it's doing something. Okay, let's see. Let's get this a little further. Oh, the wrong one. Yeah, there we go. There's our output from our amplifier. And according to this, it's running at 216 kilohertz. So I'm going to start some music, some music playing. We should see the pulse width of these output change. My mind really isn't going right now, so yeah. Got some synth wave connected up to the um, ampli. I'm um, um, in. I mean, the computer connected up to this amplifier. So let's just do stuff. And of course, stupid YouTube isn't playing, is it? Ah, oh, there we go. You see the pulse width shifting about when the music plays? That's more like it. So that's the Pam whatever class D amplifier. And until next time, goodbye for real this time.